Support the Ramen Raider on Patreon. Thanks to all our patrons. All right, hey, this is Hans, the Ramen Raider, coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. We got something that's actually not a noodle today. This is a new product from Maroshan, and this is their Maroshan Instant Rice Bowl Mexican Rice. So it's for, I guess it's not, I don't, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. This is this is an interesting cooking technique on this one, but we're going to uh, slap it into the bowl. So basically, you've got rice that smells like rice. So it is in the bowl, and it is rice in a bowl currently, and there is the fill line. So we're going to add water to the fill line, and then, yeah. So, I swear, fill lines are a pain in the butt, and I really wish there was more of a way to do them happily. Is that about right? be a little bit more now the question here is is it being stirred beforehand that would make sense uh, open lid open soup packet add it in okay yeah so we're gonna add this in This will be interesting. I, I don't know if I've ever really had a rice bowl like this. I'm kind of bummed. I, I'm out of eggs, and I was thinking, you know, put a fried egg on top. That could work really well, but not having an egg kind of kills that whole concept. My wife's grandfather's solution, I guess, to a lot of things was just slap an egg on it. That sounds like a reasonable reasonable idea, I think. Okay, so this is going to go in here. I think this is, what, four minutes? One more look-see. Uh, microwave for... four minutes and then leave it for another three. This is going to take a little bit of time. Let's see. Engage. Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well. I'm, I like rice. I do. Is it ramen? No, but, and is it an instant noodle? No, but it's an instant product you would find in the area that you would find instant noodle, ramen, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Actually, I found this one at, uh, what do you call it? 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven was a score the other day, I gotta be quite honest. So what's going on today? Preparing for, uh, I'm going to have pretty much all of Friday and a good portion of Monday and then, yeah, the uh, everybody but me is going down to California this weekend. Uh oh. The connection has been lost. Trying to reconnect. I wonder if it's the microwave that did that. That's, that's possible. It looks like... It, 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 it. 
Yeah. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm not moving. Yeah, that's irritating. I like this app. This is the one I tend to use more than any other for doing the show, but it's kind of kind of wonky. Sometimes it has a good connection, sometimes it doesn't. I, actually, the really wonky part of all of this is this apartment. It's like the quality of Wi-Fi in here is trash, and our Wi-Fi router is not like a slouch or anything, but it it just doesn't work very well and i don't i don't get it it should like it's literally right there and the camera is a phone that you're watching me on and oh look i moved i moved a little bit wow i wonder when i moved but uh yeah, you're watching me through a Galaxy S20. Here's my phone here. So basically, that shoots to the Wi-Fi and then shoots back. And not working all that great. So I don't know what to tell you. It should be working somewhat better. But yeah, they're going to go. So I've got like a whole checklist of stuff that I'm going to do around the house. It's a lot easier to clean and do stuff while nobody's around. I'm also going to do a bunch of top 10 list videos, so it'll be nice and quiet for that. And yeah, it's going to be a bummer because it's just going to be me. But they'll have fun and I'll get a lot accomplished, so I like that. I like to be really uh, productive, so productivity will be happening. So, yeah. And other than that, I think today it's starting to get sunny. I might drag the kids down to City Hall and let them draw on the sidewalk with sidewalk chalk. They seem to enjoy that. Oh, what else is going on? Oh, so for years now I've gotten like these battery bricks that are really cool. I, I like them. They last really... Okay, now we let it sit for three minutes. They last a long time. General, the one that I had was great. I, I, I liked it. But... So, it's got one port where you charge it, and, and the same port you can use to... Uh, what do you call it? You can use it to charge it, and you can also use it to get the juice out of the battery brick. Well, the thing fell on the floor. Must have just like banged the uh, the connector. It was kind of loose already. And now it's like I can use a different port on it and get the remaining juice out of it and charge something. But it's you can't charge it. It's like the place where you charge it is totally hosed, which really, really sucks. So I got a new one because I I have to charge my junk a lot and I got this one. It's pretty neat. You know, plug this in. It's got little little dealies on it. But yeah, it's got a little display on it. I think that's nifty. It it's pretty heavy. But uh yeah, see it shows you Wow, now the now the now it's working well. Maybe maybe it was the microwave. But yeah. You can see all the it has data and then you can change that. But yeah. It's like when I plug in my regular phone, it goes it instead of just going boo-doo, it goes like bit and then it says it's supercharging my phone. So that's cool. I like that. Yeah, the, the, the Wi-Fi is coming through, like, real-time now. So weird. I, I really... I really don't understand. But, yeah, this apartment, when it comes to Wi-Fi, just sucks. But, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I got a new battery brick. It's huge, but 
and it weighs a ton, but it should charge my phone a total of like four or five times, something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, here's, here's the phone I walk around with all the time. Kind of outdated now, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's the beginning of August for me, but yeah, yeah. Isn't really doing anything anymore. I have a feeling, uh, at this point, Harris is gonna, like, mop the floor with him. I don't, I bet you he doesn't debate. I'll bet. I could be wrong. I hope he does. I mean, come on. Okay, here's how it looks when it comes out of the microwave. It looks hot, I can say that much. Yeah, I really would have liked to put a fried egg on this. But... Yeah. Fluffing with fork. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Feels a little interesting. Well, now that we've fluffed it with the fork, I guess it's time to try it. Now, it said four minutes, and it said let it sit for three. I filled it to the line, but it feels kind of mushy. I could be wrong, but here's what we got. Mexican rice. Mmm. I'm getting tomato, getting other flavor in there. It's not bad. I mean, it's, if somebody, asked, if I tried this, this is kind of a, a thing that I kind of think about at times. If somebody handed me this and I took a bite, and they asked me, what would you call this? I would call this Mexican rice. So, that's a good sign. You know, if you have a product and you're saying it's a certain thing, and my first thought is, oh yeah, it's that. That's a plus. Uh-oh. I hear angry children. They got all cranky lately. Lately. <laughs> hey, what timely music for Mexican rice. Out of my chair, please. It ruined my chair. Utterly. Now, lacking anything better, I'm gonna use this stuff. However, it should work fine. And I am going to microwave this for a moment. It's not refried rice, it's re microwaved rice. Just so it melty. Come on, get melty. squarish aspect, but that'll work in a pinch. And here's some green onion. Sesame seeds are a no, but crushed red pepper definitely will work. I 
I could put hot sauce on it, but... All I have is Louisiana hot sauce, and I think that wouldn't be the right thing to do. I've got crystal. I like crystal. It's good, but I think in this application that would be kind of incorrect. So gaze upon that for a moment. Thanks for watching. The next one we got is this, and this is uh, a company called Chewy out of Hong Kong, and this is their uh, rice vermicelli, black garlic, and mushroom flavor. So that'll be on the next episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. It'll make you feel better. Have a good one. Bye bye.